Hello everyone, today we're going to have an unboxing of the Microsoft wireless display adapter. I picked up one of these from Best Buy today and it cost about $66 with tax and this is what allows you to display your screen from whatever device you have whether it's a Windows Phone device with the newer Snapdragon chipset that has the wireless display capability or if it's an Android phone or a Windows desktop PC or tablet like a Surface or Dell Vignette Pro, you should be able to share your screen or project your screen to another display. So let's go ahead and do an unboxing here. We see on here that it lists compatibility with Windows 8 and Android, but that also includes Windows Phone for those devices with the corresponding chipsets. And up here at the top, it lets you know it's the Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter, then it has it in another language as well. It says share what's on your smartphone, tablet, or laptop with your big screen. Microsoft logo on the side and on the back it has some information here um, about it saying that you can connect Wi-Fi certified Miracast enabled device to a TV or monitor via the HDMI port and USB power that's required. It has for Android it needs at least 4.21 and Windows 8.1. Okay, we'll go ahead and take a look at this here, see if we can get this open. Okay, so it has a little tab, we can pull that. It looks like it opens from the bottom. Throw that to the side. Okay, and this will allow us to slide this out. Okay. Okay, there's some other stuff behind here. So let's see what we have. So one end. has a USB in, HDMI on that end. Try to get that to focus there. So we got USB, that's HDMI, USB there. And on this end, we got HDMI to HDMI. Okay, we'll go ahead and try this out in a couple of moments with our Lumia 1520 and a Lumia 635 as well. So we'll go ahead and try to see if we can get this to work with our devices. Um, the rest of the stuff in the box is a couple of manuals that will provide some more information, hardware support, and probably some information on how to get everything set up. All right, I'll be back in just a moment. All right, I'm back. So after a little setup of connecting the Microsoft screen sharing device to the HDMI connection and the USB connection, here's what we have. Basically, you just select the appropriate connection on your TV, and then this will show up if no device is connected. So to connect the device, you just have to go into your settings. So we'll start out with the Lumia 1520 here, and we'll go into the settings and get it all connected up. So you just swipe up, go to settings, and in settings, we're going to look for project my screen. Okay, we're going to scroll down there and there's project my screen. And as you can see here, the Microsoft display adapter is showing because it's already found it without me having to do anything. And all you do is tap to connect. Once you tap to connect, then your device is connected onto the TV. And basically everything that you do on your device is done on the TV. So if I want to watch news, I can go to my CBS app, pull that up and go in and take a look at everything on there, which right now looks like my CBS app isn't cooperating. So I'll go ahead and close that. We'll, we'll try that again. Let's go back to CBS News. There we go. And you can go in and watch live news. No, I want to say it was harder. 
Dad wasn't there for backup. You were called a liar with two. And as you can see, everything plays smoothly from your phone to the TV. And there isn't really much delay in anything. Okay. So then you can go back to your home screen, open up other applications like games. So we'll go and look at one of my favorite games. Riptide GP2 by Vector Unit. I'm going to sync up my account information. I was playing on my Lumia 635 earlier. Okay. So we're going through all the menus here. And everything's quick and smooth. So I'm gonna put the phone towards me so that way I can try to focus on playing some so you guys can see what it looks like. In your volume controls are controlled by your phone. You can also turn your TV down, of course, as well, with your remote control. So there really isn't much of a delay, if any, as far as playing. It's kind of hard to play while looking through the 1020 recording this video and trying to steer as well. But this will give you an idea of basically what you're able to do with this. Okay, so let's say you're over someone's house and you have documents and things that you want to show. You can go into your Microsoft Office and then you can go in and pull up different documents and things that you use. So you can turn it and rotate it. and have your presentation or your documents in full screen. Same thing with browsing the internet. And everything looks good the same way it normally does. You can watch your movies, play your games, listen to your music, and do everything that you would normally do. The good thing about it is it's an easy setup as you guys saw from the, the pictures that I, I had in this video. You basically just plug it into HDMI and then the other one to USB to power the device. And see, there you go. Sometimes the video stutters but it usually catches up. And that isn't the video stutter, that's just how they made it. So you can see on the phone, it just jumps like that too. Come in and use your Starbucks gift card any day through January 5th for a chance to win Starbucks for life. Okay, so that's the demonstration of the Microsoft adapter um, on the Lumia 1520. If you want to use a different phone, you first have to disconnect the project my screen from the Microsoft adapter. So we go to project my screen. And then once we get there, then we're gonna do tap to disconnect. And that takes you back to the standard Microsoft menu. And the reason you would do that is if you wanted to use it on a different phone. So if we want to go to the same thing on my Lumia 635, which has the same ability. We're gonna go through the same steps, settings, project my screen. It's going to search for it. If you're searching for it and you're already connected to it, so let's say if it was connected to my 1520, it will not show up 
on any other device until you disconnect to it. So now I've hit connect and just like that, it pulls up from the Lumen 635 as well. And so that way you can do the same exact things, play the different games on your phone, um, even with this low end device. So I bought this device for basically $39 the other day. And so it's an excellent deal to be able to project your screen, do the same things that you do on a, a high end device, but on a lower end cheap device. And remember, this is compatible with Android, Windows Phone devices that have these newer Snapdragon chipsets, and Windows PCs, so that includes desktop, tablet, laptop, and so forth, to where you can you can play and or project your screen with whatever it is you want to use. And so this is me just choosing different things here. So Lumen 635 projecting the screen um, to a 50 inch 1080p TV. And so you guys can see how everything looks. <laughs> That's not a good start. So even on such a low end device as this, you can there's you can see there's a lot of value in um, turn my volume down there. It's a lot of value in having this um, device, the wireless display adapter. Okay. So there you go. So a quick demonstration of sharing your display, projecting your screen with the Windows Phone devices with the Microsoft Wireless Display, um, which uses Miracast. So once again, when you're finished, you just disconnect it. So that way, if you have other family members, they can find it and connect whenever they need to. Um, it's excellent for showing spreadsheets, games, videos, and so forth. So I highly recommend, if you can find this, to find it for cheap. Is possible. Uh, Microsoft did make another wireless display um, system that has a NFC portion to it, but I do not have that at the time because I cannot find it available anywhere, whether online or in a store. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below or visit mynokiablog.com for more updates and more information. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.